New at 6, the uh, firestorms in the North Bay have added a lot of insecurity to California's power grid, but that's leading many people to create their own tiny power systems. KPIX 5's John Ramos has the story. So at about 8.30 this morning, after about a tenth of an inch of rain, the power in my house went off, and PG&E says it won't be back up until about noon. But what if this was something more important than a house? What if this was a hospital or a college? Santa Rosa Junior College has asked themselves that question, and that's why they're creating something called a microgrid. David Liebman has been tasked to build an energy system that can power the college even during an emergency blackout. This right here is about one megawatt. So. These huge Tesla batteries store and transmit energy from solar arrays, and everything is managed by a smart control system that not only makes normal energy use more efficient, but will keep the place operating for days after PG&E shuts down the grid. We're finding that if you know one bad thing happens to a centralized, you know, figure, um, it the system comes crashing down, and so we need to have not a decentralized model where we're all, in, you know, separate, but one that's very interconnected and works in tandem. These smaller systems are still connected to the main grid, but can operate independent of it as well. It is a major change in thinking. Massive utilities like PG&E used to be considered a more stable way to ensure reliable energy, but not anymore. Basically, everything flipped about you know two years ago when we had our firestorm, and so PG&E's grid isn't safe anymore. That's really the bottom line. Sonoma Clean Power is now providing energy for the majority of homes and businesses in the area, and has taken the lead in designing microgrid systems for essential service providers like the Sutter Santa Rosa Regional Hospital. We're not sitting around and waiting for you know PG&E blackouts to happen. We're actually working with customers. Um, they're coming to us to say, we need your help designing some way to keep the lights on. And that, that change is really the, the big difference. It seems the days of putting our faith in a big utility company to keep us safe and warm may be behind us. The new reality is, when it comes to energy security, smaller may be better. In Santa Rosa, John Ramos, KPIX 5. Advocates say there are other benefits to microgrids. They say because the systems are more carefully controlled, they use a lot less energy and create fewer greenhouse gas emissions.